Good to hear from you again, and keep coming back. Roger, always check your next at this time of the year tonight. Over. Roger, and we, we, if you didn't... Well, I'm a proud owner of a new Yaesu FT991 and I thought I'd uh, do a short video on, well several short videos, this one will be about uh, modulation uh, on FM, narrowband, um, wideband, uh, in this case 12 kilohertz uh, is wideband in the modern parlance and also uh, show you what the C4FM looks like on this radio spectrum wise using the uh, Regal Spectrum Analyzer over here. I've set this for a reference level of zero here which is actually minus 40. Got a short piece of wire here to pick up the signal and uh, so what I did is I uh, just pumped the, uh, punched the reference offset here which is this bottom button and set it to 40 dB to uh, make the reference here zero. That way we can, we can get a, uh, a good uh, look at the thing in terms of uh, the actual dB down from uh, the carrier. So let's take a look at it. I'll run the thing in close and you can uh, see what's going on. Now for these tests I've uh, set this up for uh, uh, video bandwidth of 300 Hertz and receive bandwidth of uh, kilohertz just so we can look at the spectrum itself. Uh, my span is 20 kilohertz here and the center frequency is 146.55 so we'll see uh, how that looks when I key up the radio here we'll do a peak hole uh, peak here, whoops I touched uh... okay we're uh, very close in frequency and uh, so there you go As I modulate, you can see the uh, modulation, but I, you know, I need to really put this trace into uh, max hold so we can see what the modulation looks like over time. So here's a standard FM wideband uh, signal according to Yesu uh, in modern parlance. Um, so that's uh, what it looks like down to about 50 dB, which is this reference line. All right, let's look at it when it's in the narrow mode. I'm going to leave this on the screen by uh, going to trace here and instead of max hold I'll uh, change that to uh, freeze so now channel one, or, uh, trace 1 is the yellow trace that's the standard FM and I'm going to go to trace 2 now blank will go to uh, max hold on that and I'll do the same thing I did before this is WB6J and N Willie Baker 6 John Nancy Nancy San Jose. And then we'll uh, freeze that one as well. So as you can see it is narrower and um, it's set on the radio to 9 kilohertz. The uh, wider one is 12 kilohertz. So that's what they've got this uh, radio set to. Now we'll go to C4FM. To do that I'm going to go to number 3 here. We will go to max hold on number 3. I'll switch the radio to uh, the C4FM mode and this is what we get. This is WB6JNN, Willie Baker 6, John, Nancy, Nancy, San Jose. WB6JNN. And of course we can also uh, go to trace here and uh, trace type and freeze that one. So there you go. That's the uh, wide band, uh, wide, wide narrow band FM. <laughs> uh, the C4 FM which is very similar to it. A uh, little bit better uh, bandwidth here but not much and the narrow band, uh, narrow band FM if you wish so those are the three modes of this radio and what the modulation looks like when I'm using uh, a 1 kilohertz bandwidth 
So let's say I was operating sideband over here or over here uh, with a 3 kilohertz. Well, it would uh, certainly have a significant amount of interference to my signal uh, 50 dB down. To another FM station, uh, probably you'd have a similar situation except a little more interference. But you have capture effect which sort of balances that out.